Hey guys, it's Kesmir, and I'm back with The Walking Dead. Um, we got ourselves stuck in the sewer, and we just found Chuck. Yeah, well, then we found this hole in the wall. I think we're in some kind of fallout shelter or something. Uh, so let's see what kind of trouble we can get into next. What the hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Wonder if someone's living down here. Could be. Look at all the supplies. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Well, it depends on how many people. Oh, hello. Who are you? Elderly. It's all right. It's okay. Uh, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Uh, which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. I came here with a small group hoping to find a boat. We just want to get out of here. How about you just let me go? Ain't no boats around here. Crawford took everything. Yeah, I heard. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, uh, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. You know, started weeding out the sick and the old so that perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so... You're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? I told you. My group and I were up by the river looking for a boat. Now I just want to get out of here and find them again. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go.
We could merge groups, but at the rate our group goes, they'd all be dead in like half an episode. <laughs> Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. I want to keep it. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. Doesn't have to. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. She's way too forward for my liking. She reminds me of Lily. Causing issues all the time. Omid, honey. You're gonna be alright. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Yeah, we haven't checked we haven't even checked upstairs yet. Clementine, you in here? Where is she? I'll have time to rest later. Clementine? Clem, you in here? Man, this is a nice house. Clem's drawings. But where is she? What's she? Did she draw Lee burying the kid? Don't see her anywhere out there. Uh, no walkers either, though. Doesn't look like she's in here. So I think we just came out that. Which door did we come out? There's two doors here. Clementine, you here? Clem? Clementine? Where did we come out this door? Gosh, I can't remember, guys. Uh. <laughs> Everything okay in there? Okay. We're fine. Just leave us alone and yeah. let the doctor work. Leave him alone, Lee. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Well, let's try one of these doors up here. In the hallway. Clementine, where are you? Clem? She's probably in the attic. Ain't got time for that. <laughs> Ain't got no time for no sinks. Don't you guys know anything? We ain't got no time for no Hello? sinks. What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? I don't care about 
about that. I just want to find Clementine. I don't care about no boxes. Clementine? No sign of her in here. Molly? I told you that girl isn't with me. Go ask your buddies and quit bothering me. <laughs> Don't have time for no sinks. Not interested in no boxes. Don't see her out there. Clementine, you up there? Shit, where could she be? I don't know, probably downstairs. Calm down, Lee. I just have to Clementine! interact with everything. Clementine, come out, please! Gosh, calm down. Kenny? Oh, geez. Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? From the table. Found it. You want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey, man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was going to rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was going to listen to me? To hell with you. Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? You do you, Kenny. Clementine, come out, please. Not under here. Clementine, where are you? Doesn't look like she's in here. Doesn't look like she's in here. Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. Your best she was sucks. Frantic and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? That's not good enough. Whatever. Don't give me that whatever shit. Just tell me where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. <laughs> that kid is so worthless. Great, so the man on the radio probably came and talked to her. Clementine? Clementine! What's this? What the hell happened back here? Covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there.
Oh, Clementine. Hey, girl. Come look. Look what I found. Hey, girl. Oh, my goodness. Kenny is going to be so happy. Whoa. I know, right? I see a smirking Kenny. Yeah, put down that bottle. You don't need it. You don't need it, Kenny. Won't solve a thing. Old Mead's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? It's not the biggest of boats either. Will? That's okay, you can have Ben's spot. You want the good news or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? the worst kind but I don't see what other choice we have and just how exactly do you figure we do this we sneak in because from what I've heard that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders there's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected there might actually be a way I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance yeah actually I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Need to leave Ben behind. He's just, he'll just mess it all up. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? 
the whole time. Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? It is true, Mama she's small. Said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? What's the worst that could happen? Let's go, okay. Clem. You can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay. I'm gonna go get ready. Besides, she's great to have around for sneaking in nooks and crannies. I'll probably regret it, but at this point, let's just do it. I'd rather have her than Ben with us. Should leave Ben behind. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? Hmm. <laughs> so we're gonna have a capacity problem. Yeah. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Polly. <laughs> Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Yeah, has nobody else figured out what Kenny figured out? Because I just a sec. figured that I'm out ready. right away. Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This isn't up for debate, Vernon. Decisions made. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. I don't think it's the greatest idea either, but... Yeah, what do we do? Leave her with Omid? The guy who's half dead? Heck, he could die in turn while we're gone. Alright guys, I think this is a good spot to stop. Um, so we'll pick up next time, sneaking right into Crawford. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Kesmir out.